Hi guys, in the previous lecture we have built this uh, image and we have put this text and now we are going to build this part, these post. So first of all let's do this, we have to create another section here is copy this because we need it this is the same code and here is this and then after it we need its closing tag so here are the closing tags and here is the closing tag and here is the div div and the section and now what we need to do here we have to write about auto image auto image about auto image and now here after the closing tag of this header we have to create a div post and in that div we will place uh, one post its image and its text and now here I'm gonna reload it so here it is and now we have to change this here we have to write box 3 then it will be ok here it is this heading is created and here is a div to contain the post here is the post and then here is its closing tag and now in this div first of all we have to make a div who have the 50% width here you see that here I want to tell you something that this is a section element and this div have the equal width as the width of the row container or consider the width of the post is equal to the container so now here we have to create a div in that div we will place the image and we have to give it the width 50% so the 50% width is given to the image and 50% width is given to the text in div and here is let's start here is a div that contains the image here I'm gonna give it 50% width so adjust to and here is this and here is images img src images 23.jpg and now after this what we need to do we have to create another adjust to div adjust to and here is the div and now here we have to create a wrapper so by using this wrapper we will give it the different properties to give it the padding on the right and the left side and bottom and the top of the text and here is this so this div is just for the text this div is just for the text and this is the one post here I'm gonna reduce this and this div is just for the image and now here I'm gonna put the first image text here it is here is and here is the link we will also create it here is it remove it we have it its code we will copy the code and here is the first thing is in the h3 heading here is the h3 and here is the paragraph here is now after this paragraph we have to paste uh, anchor tag here I'm gonna copy the anchor tag here is just edit it and write read more here is this
and now here is this and let's execute it here it is and now we have to give it the style to the image and the text then it will be okay here is first of all create the adjust to here is it have the 50% width here you can see that 50% width is given to the image 50% is for the text so the total width is equal to the container and now here is adjust to adjust to have the width 50% and here is here is and now it is created here let's check it here it is and now we have to give the style to this box 3 by using the box 3 and then we will give the style to the post to give it the background color and all the things I'm gonna give the style to the post I'm gonna manage this post here you can see that here is the post and let's give it some styles dot content box 3 here I'm gonna copy it and then paste it here here is the box 3 dot post here is the background color of the post here I'm gonna give it the background color a little gray type here you can see that this is the gray type color so we are gonna insert this color and then after it we have to give the color to the text a little black and gray here is hash 3f 3f and then here is the margin on the bottom side here is the 30 pixel so a uh, space is added below the post section and here is the one pixel solid hash fff and here is you see that this is the margin 30 pixel and now let's execute it so now the margin is added and we will give it more styles here is this and now give the style to the image that is inside the post here is copy this here it is image give it the width and height here is this here is maximum width maximum height 440 pixel and here is the width 100% and here is the border here is none and here it is I have give it the width 100% but the actually width that is given to its div is the 50% here you can see that its div have the 50% width of the total width so now it is covering all the 50% width because we have give it the 100% so it means 50% so now the next thing is I'm gonna give the style to the wrapper what is the wrapper? wrapper is uh, div that contain this text we will give it the padding from all the sides then it will be okay and here is post it and here is dot wrapper here is the padding 60 pixel and top 60 pixel left and here is 20 pixel bottom and here is 60 pixel right side and then here is the text align to the center and here is let's execute it so here is it's fine and now let's look at it here is the 
box 3 and here is the background and all things are applying on it and now I'm gonna create the second one and now I'm gonna create the second one so what we need to do we just need to copy and paste the code again but here the content is going to be mixed up here is copy it and then paste it again and now here is what what do we need to do we just need to change the image name then see it what happened so here is the it is inserted now here I want to tell you another thing that is we have to give float right to the image we have to give it the class float right in the second post and here I want to tell you something that here you see that this background have a different color but here is not this content is also float on to the other content this is just because we have not provide a little space and the clear both properties before and after the content then it will be okay here I'm gonna give it here is this is the div and here I'm gonna write f right and now here is I'm gonna give it dot f right and here is float to the right so the image is floated to the right side and now the next thing is it is already floated because the content is floated on, on each other and now we have to insert a space before and after the post divs because here you see that there are two post divs so that's why they are floated onto each other so now let's give it the style here at the end here I'm also gonna give this style to the sections because we have created too many sections so I'm not gonna allow any section to the float on any other section and that's why I'm gonna create it here is this and here is this and here write this and here is section section and here is clear both here I'm gonna give clear both visibility and all the properties and here we have given these properties copy it and then here is paste it here and then here is the clear both and now let's do it so now it is adjusted and now you see that this image is on the right side the background is apply because we have not give the priority to the float right here we have to give it priority it is not apply important let's check it so now here it is adjusted and the next thing is we have to build this thing this section and thank you for watching this video if you have any problems so kindly at the discussion i will help you as much as i can